Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome back to Mage's Play Skyrim. How are you doing this week? Yeah, man. So, wow. All right. Well, I mean, uh, as far as my life goes, I think it's been going pretty good, guys. Um, the baby's doing great. Family's doing great. I'm still sleeping in the living room. Blah. Work is busy. Man, jeez, my God, we have been busy. I have not had... Normally, I, I get at least, you know, a, a couple hours of downtime each week that I spend, you know, checking up on stuff, but I haven't even had that in the last month, pretty much, um, at work. It's just been slammed. Anyways, um, I have a, I have something to pass by before we get going here. Um, I'm not even starting a timer until we're done with this. I, I wanted to pass it by you. I want to see what your thoughts are. Um, I'm on a forum called Tig Source Forum. It's, a. Uh, it's pretty much a, it's a forum for independent gamers. Obviously, I'm an indie gamer, so you know I'm over there. Uh, my thought was now I just recently ended my Cup Code Spotlight series, and the ra main reasons I did that a is I've been having some copyright issues with the with the Spotlight series. You know, I do a spotlight on a game, and there's music in the background, you know, from the game itself. And then YouTube tries to say, hey, this has been copyrighted by somebody else, so you can't monetize it. And then it takes me two weeks to get it, you know, cleared up. And by that time, it's already too late. I've already, you know, earned most of the ad revenue. I've already lost uh, two weeks worth of ad revenue. And unfortunately, with all my videos, you know, I get almost all of my ad revenue in the first two weeks anyways. Now, I do get some residuals, you know, later on, but most of my views come in the first two weeks from what I'm telling from what I'm seeing, uh, I may not, you know. So here's what I thought of: is I thought of maybe instead of doing the spotlight, the other reason the you know, spotlight. I haven't told all the reasons. The other reason I ended spotlight is becoming because it came, became expensive. What I was doing is I was spending out of my own pocket to buy these games on Steam so that I could review them once a week. And you think about it, you're buying a game every dang week, that gets to be expensive. Now, most of the games that I bought were under $5, and you know, more, more a large portion of them were like a dollar or so. But in all true honesty, over the years, over the last two years that I've been doing this, I have spent 10 times more than I have earned from YouTube just on the cup code spotlight now this does not include my hardware and software that i use for making my videos this is just on the cup code spotlight for buying games to do spotlight videos on i spent 10 times more than i have earned um and you think about that like last year or the pre yeah, previous year the year before last i only earned 65 dollars and then last year i earned something like a hundred dollars so all total in the two and a half or however long I've been doing this, I've earned about $165 from YouTube, but I've spent 10 times more than that on games for this couple of spotlight. So as you, you see, I'm not making a profit at all here. Um, so and because of that and other financial issues that have hit my struck my family in the last few months, I just couldn't afford to buy more games for the spotlight. So that's why I've ended it. So here's my idea. Although what I'm thinking of is I'm going to reintroduce, it's not going to be called the Cup Code Spotlight anymore, obviously. But what I'd like to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go on a tick source forum and I'm going to put a, put a post out there that, hey, you know, I'm looking for indie developers who want feedback on their game. And it'll be something like the Cup Code, I wouldn't call it the review, but Cup Code Critique. That's what I'm thinking. The title of the series will be Cup Code Critique. And the idea is that an indie developer will send me a copy of their playable game. Mind you, it has to be playable. I'll play the game for like an hour or so until I get a good feel of how the game is going. I mean, I'm not going to spend one minute and be like, hmm, this sucks. No, I'm going to give it some actual time investment so I can see what the game is really like. And then I'll do a 15-minute video covering the game where I will look at where I will expose what I places in the game that I think could be improved, and I'll not only show, hey, this crap it needs to be fixed, but because I'm also a developer, I'll also suggest the means of fixing it type deal. It's, it's, it's what I'm. I, it's kind of like you know, I'm thinking it'd be valuable feedback. I don't know. So that's what I'm thinking of. What do you guys think of that? Is that something that you'd like to watch? Is that something you'd like to see? Because you think about it, you as the viewers, you know. Granted, these are games that may not be on the market yet, but these are games that may come to the market. Um, so you get a preview of potential games that you could buy later. You never know. You might find a game you like, and then you go over to a text source forum and start following it and you know 
with that way you'll follow it there you get to know when it comes out um, and you might actually get sales or deals or something but it also helps the developers because then they get this valuable feedback for their game because a lot of indie developers they don't know how to get that kind of feedback they don't you know because we you know they go out and they ask their friends and family to hey play this game and tell me what you think and they don't get the valuable feedback like i would give them you know like their friends and family you know they're biased they're like hey you're my friend i'm not going to tell you it royally sucks Whereas I'm not your friend. I'm just some stranger, strange guy on the internet who's looking at your game. I'm going to tell you the honest truth. But the difference is, is I'm not going to make this a bashing flick. I've seen a lot of uh, of crit critics out there, and that's a large portion of what they do is they start bashing the games. And I don't and, and saying this sucks, the graphics sucks, that sucks, this sucks, that sucks. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to give them valuable feedback. I want to give them helpful feedback. Um, so anyways, like I said, let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. Tell me which, which way you, what, what, what do you think of me of me doing a series like that? Now, it would replace the couple of Spotlight. It would be once a week, which means Skyrim would be would be dialed back to four days a week. Um, and so this would be released. Uh, probably, I'd, I'd probably switch it around, though, and make this video series a Monday series. So, meaning that I'd pick the game on Friday, I'd play it, and, the, and the, the, the critique video would be released on Monday. And then Tuesday through Friday is all Skyrim. And that's my thought. Anyway, so last episode, I found Esper. At first impression, he struck me as being exceedingly paranoid. I mean, the door to the room he was in had so many locks on it, I'm not sure he could have fit another lock on there. Well, I finally got him to open the door and brought him back to Riverwood to see Delphine. He told us about a place called Sky Haven Temple, where he believes is something known as Alduin's Wall. It should be a recorded history of Alduin and how to defeat him. It was apparently lost or forgotten for centuries, but was recorded somewhere in the documents that the Blade's been keeping for centuries. So we're, we're headed there. Uh, I decided to fast travel to Rorikstead and go west from there. Upon arrival in Rorikstead, I saw Alduin flying up a nearby hill. I already knew what was up, so I headed up there in time to catch the dragon, Nahagliv, as it crawled out of his burial mound. Nahagliv only got to take to the air for about a minute, but he didn't last much longer than that. There is one more dragon there won't ever be coming back. Anyway, so we are headed. Let's check our map. Do, do, do. We are headed over here to Karth Spire. Now, this is this is going to be a nice, fun location to get to. Um, I've noticed that if I go straight across, that that we're having issues. So here's what I'm thinking: is we're gonna instead of going straight across to it, we, we got those guys down there that have killed me every time. Oh, how'd that happen? Oh, uh, it, it bounces to the middle. So I'm, I'm gonna put a custom destination there. We're gonna head to the custom destination and follow the river up. That's what I'm thinking we're gonna do. Um, maybe it might be because see if we go straight across there, we're gonna run into some 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 un friendly unsavory friends over there so maybe we can skirt around them that's what i'm thinking let me take a drink of my nos here as i am as usual because my family in law my, my in-laws are here um i am recording on a sunday not on a saturday night which is you know totally abnormal for me you know this and so i'm i went out and decided heck with it i'm buying me a nos maybe that'll make me a little bit more energetic <laughs> We don't know. We'll see. I'm trying. I, I, I know I've, for a long time I've been lacking in the social media scene. I, you know, I've got a Twitter. I've got Facebook, but I don't really do a whole lot with the with the Cup Code Facebook page, and I don't really do a whole lot with Twitter either. So I'm trying to force myself. I, I say that it makes it sound bad, but. Trying to force myself to be a little bit better with that, you know, so I can at least get on and post something other than, hey, I published this video. Because I know a lot of that's, whoa, we're about to fall over, over there. Because I know that, you know, hey, I post this video. That's not the kind of, of, of Twitter updates that you want to get from a YouTuber. So um, I'm trying to get into the habit of posting more and more about what's going on. But there's, I have a problem with doing that. And my problem with doing that is my problem with social media itself. It's my problem with the internet itself. See, you can't post exactly how you feel. You can't do it. Because if you try to do it, people are going to fuss. People are going to complain. There's going to be backlash. I mean, I used to a long time ago. I had I had a, a an online journal of sorts where I would post about you know what's been going on in my life and how I felt about it. 
And I had to stop doing that because, you know, people are a-holes. Let's be honest with you. People are, are a-holes. You post in there about how you feel about something, and someone else will read it, and then they'll yell back at you and start this entire debate or argument. And that's not why people would do that, you know? If I'm going to post online about how I feel about stuff, what the heck are you? Alright, you are obviously not weak against lightning. Let's try something else. <coughs> Excuse me, what the heck was that? Coughing for no reason. No, not frames. Fireball. Whoa! You're invisible! Whoa! Oh god, no! Yeah, kill it! Fight it! I'd rather fight the bear anyways. Go for it. That sucker just, oh my god. Whoa. All right, all right, all right. Let's cross the river. We'll just leave the dro to the bear and we'll cross the river. If we can. Uh, I'm getting the impression that we're running into a pack of wolves or something over there. I want to get away from the dro. Hey, goat. Uh huh. So there is something over there. Alright, so we're near a village or something. Ow. My ring is killing me. I gotta take this thing off. Ouch! 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 Alright. Dro's. I've never seen that. I guess that's part of one of the, the mods I've added. Oh my god. I've never seen those before. That was freaky. What is this? Shrine of Debella. Yeah, we'll activate that. Yeah, you can heal me. Heal me, baby. Yeah, we're not going to steal from the, from the goddess. That would just be an idiotic move, wouldn't it? Alright, well, it looks like we have gotten past the drove, so we're going to keep on going. Although it's still got it listed up there like it's my current target. I don't like that. So it looks like what we're headed to is up there. Oh, 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 oh wait, 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 where is clairvoyance? Yeah, you want me to go this way, don't you? Oh, That means the drove's over here. Dang it! Let's go this way. Well, that's pretty interesting, though. So the drow commands mud crabs. So he summons up mud crabs and commands them. And then sends them after you. That makes them exceedingly more dangerous because you're dealing with more than one enemy. Old Holden. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go see what we got up here. Hello! Hello! Hey, hey, hey! Uh, Leonite... Leontius? Hey, Selvius, come here. Head on inside. Aldis or Schooley can take care of you. All right, we'll do that. Thank you very much. Let's go. More smoke. of years of history friend really well you sound like you don't get a whole lot of visitors you're all bored over here you'll be looking to rent Tiber Septim's room I take it Tiber Septim's room that's right in the second era Tiber Septim himself led the army that conquered old Roldan from the barbarians of the reach Septim would later found the empire that united Tamriel but his first known battle in victory was right and this inn has the very bed the great general slept in on his first night as old Raldin's liberator, as good as it was hundreds of years ago. Sure. Fine, I'll rent it. 
Have a good rest. It's the big room with the double bed. Okay. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Who are you talking to, kid? Get away! We are routed. Fall back. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no, it followed me! Don't kill me. Dang it! No! No, they followed me to the end! Oh, the poor kid's gonna die! Now I know what he was yelling about. Shoot! Alright. <sighs> Are they following? I don't know if they're following or not. Here, let's go. We've already talked. Yes. Yes, they are. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Shoot! Shoot! Dang it! My mana went away! I was out of mana! Okay, let's try something different here then, huh? Shall we? Alright, come on, switch, 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 switch. Let's try Firebolt. Ooh, 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 wait, 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 where is it? The Fire Rune. I know they're coming. They're coming. Kid, you want to come up, you want to get away from there? Why is Someone there? All right, get in here. Get in here. Come on, come on, come on. Get in. Get in. Hide. I submit. Just waiting on mana. Just waiting on mana. I know, right? All right, it, 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 he's doing lightning, so let's see if we have anything, any potions. Version to magic. Target 65 cent. Uh, no, no, that's po poison. Duh, I don't want to poison. Let's see. Potion of minor magicka, plentiful magicka. Resist shock. That's what we need. Yeah, buddy. Where is he? Where is he? You gonna die, fool! Ah, gotcha, gotcha! Oh man! Last time you said he was fighting for the Empire. Yep, sure is doing well there. All right, I'll run Tiber Septum's room now. It's the big room with the double bed. I'll show you to your room. I'm already here, thank you. Mm, yeah, mm hmm Let me know if there's anything else you need. Uh-huh, of course. Now that I've saved your family, you couldn't even give me a thanks. My God. Sheesh. Let's rest for about eight hours. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've been waiting for you, Jolty. Jolty? Is that you? You promised me, Jolty. You promised that when we sacked Holden, you would make me your sworn brother. Okay. And I've waited. Even after the enemy's arrows dug into my chest, and their hammers crushed my bones. I've waited. You have, have you? Give me your sword, Yonti. That we may become brothers, as you promised. Um... I'll find your sword. I long to taste battle again. Who are you and where are you from? You don't remember me, Yonti? Two campaigns we 
serve together. You saved my life time and time again. Right. Yeah, you're talking about somebody else. Goodbye. Do you Mara have mercy that gave me a fright. Old Rolden is the stone that the Empire's history is built on. Go to look for a sword. I remember a legend that Tiber Septim had attacked one of the enemy camps before he came to Old Rolden. It could be there. I'll mark it down on your map. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Ghost mentioned a Hjalti? Hjalti? Hm. I never heard of anyone named Hjalti. Tiber Septim had many names. Maybe that's one of them. Okay, well, thank you very much. Hey, have you heard any rumors? People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Yeah, it's called plastic surgery. Thank you. Until next time. Hey, you. Wow, look at that robe. Are you a wizard? I am. You're awfully mature for your age. Watch your tongue, stranger. We don't take back talk in this inn. <laughs> What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty, hungry, both? I don't know. We've been out for a while. Let's see what you got. Grilled chicken breast sounds good. Oh, salmon steak. Yeah. No, I don't think I'm going to take anything. Thank you, though. All right, then. Yep, yep. You moved. All right, um, well, let's see. Journal, Alduin's Wall, and the miscellaneous thing. I am not following a miscellaneous quest, so you stop tracking. We're going to Alduin's Wall here, buddy. Onward! Onward we go. And the scrolls are foretold. Oh, it didn't even get, let me read it. Old Ralden. I hear it. You hear a dragon? I hear a dragon. I do, I do hear a dragon. Alright, well, we're gonna go put lightning bolt on, clairvoyance on. And let's see which way we need to go. And this way shall be. Hey, you, before I leave. You should head on inside. I already did, man. You don't have anything else to say? Do, 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 do. Looks like we're following this path. Okay, so as I was saying, yeah, I mean, I have, uh, I, didn't, I could interrupt it. That's why I have a hard time talking through the game. Whoa, which way? All right, now. Thank you. I, that's why I have a hard time talking through the game because I get I get talking and then something happens and I get distracted and I don't go back to talking what I was talking about, man. It's just hilarious. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. What do you think? Is it hilarious? Maybe. But I was talking about why I don't do a whole lot of social media and part of it is because I've been burned with with the internet and saying things and exp and exposing things. Like I'm always afraid that I'm gonna post too much. I mean, I don't want to be the—I don't want to be that guy, you know, the one that posts like every every five seconds and annoys everybody. I don't want to be that guy. I also don't want to be the guy that posts way too much information and gets some stalker to come and kill me and my family. That's definitely not what I want to do. Oh, where am I going here? Why am I going here? Come on. Seriously, dude. That is not where I'm going. Thank you. Let's, let's just. Oh, yeah, yeah, shoot. Sugar darn. Okay, hold on. Move it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, man, that was dumb. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm always afraid of how much information to post because, you know, there are crazies out there. There are people out there that are going to hunt you down and try to kill your family and stuff and I don't want to I don't want to be responsible for my family getting killed because I posted too much information type deal you know but at the same time I also feel like I have a responsibility to you guys to post as often as possible to let you know what's going on in my life you know what videos I'm working on where where and all that stuff you know I don't I'm working on it though. Like I said, I've, I've just got to find a nice happy medium where, you know, you guys are getting enough information and I'm not providing too much. 
and so we're going to continue working on that. Uh, one of the things I uh, that I'm doing is I am working more on the Cup Code Facebook page, and we've actually got a short link for it now, so it's a uh, it's a little easier to find. It's facebook.com/slash Cup Code Gamers. Very easy. Um, the YouTube page can be found by youtube.com slash gamers. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you've probably already found it. Uh, Twitter is the same way, twitter.com slash gamers, And our website, www.cupcodegamers.com. We're very easy to find, aren't we? Uh, I knew it. Hi there. Yeah, guess what? I'm going to step aside and come after you for a second if I can find my way over there. Whoa. Whoa. What the heck am I looking at here? It looks like I'm facing demons up ahead. Yeah, let the dragon handle it. Here, hold on. Uh, do do do. Forest Warren. Oh, it is dragons. Sir. Sir, I was not bothering you at all. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh! I was not in your battle. I was just hiding. I'm just an innocent. Oh, my Lord. So, I don't know what that was. I think it was a Dra uh, uh, Dracula. I think it was a Dracula. Oh, here, we gotta fix that map. That map's still messed up on this one, isn't it? Yes, it is. No, stop. Remove it. We're headed off in this general direction, it looks like. Um, he seems a lot closer than he was before. You call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. Oh, God. Dude, seriously? Fine, it's your funeral. The gods will be the judge of that. Damn, rocks him away. You submit and then you attack me again? How dare you, fool! Alright, you better have something good here. Driggan Dwimmer Breathplate. Worth 200, I'll take it. Unarmored Hood. I'll take that, we'll take your money, we'll take that, we'll take that. Ringmail Bracers. I do not care about that. Nope. Leave your ass naked on the ground. Ha 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 ha! Your fault. Yeah, maybe I'll have to go back in and rest a little bit longer, huh? Eh? Wants me to go this way. Seriously? Where the hell are you taking me? He sounds like he was right next to me. Seriously, come on! Uh, do you see the problem here? 
Now it's uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Screw you. And the horse you came in on. You can't get tell me which way you want me to go. I'm going my own way. Screw it. Oh, this clairvoyance spell. It's glitchy, apparently. But I happen to know you cannot just walk up this mountain because it, it's ridiculous. And it's one of those mountains that I absolutely hate. And it's one of the reasons I hate... I, one of the things I don't like about Skyrim is these mountains. It, it is nearly impossible to find your way up the mountain without using the clairvoyance spell. Oh, we have a level up. Let's do that. Do -do -do -do. All right, so let's see. Both of those. So let's do Magicalist. Yes. Since we're focusing on Magicka. And we're going to focus on this stuff. We're at 50 here. Rune Master. No, 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 no. I don't care about Rune Master. Let's see. What are these? It requires 70. Yeah. Hey, Intense Flames. Hey, can we do... Um, Yeah, you require 70, you require 60. All right, so we can do intense flames then. Yes. Haha. -ha. So now I guess we're going to switch over to the firebolt spell cuz, you know, it's stronger. Plus the firebolt spell gives off some sort of light, I think. It allows us to see. Hold up. Oh, uh, where'd he go? Where the heck did he go? Oh, he's trying. Oh, he's trying to circle around behind me. I see. Come on. Nice try, though. Nice try. I'll take that and that and that. Bye. What sees me? The dragon! Where is he at? It's a blood dragon. Shoot. Move, 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 move. Hold on. Let's try a lightning bolt. I can't see when I'm on fire. I hate that stuff. I mean, how are you supposed to do anything? Hold on. Ah, nose itch. Ah. Alright, healing, healing, healing. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Hey. No, 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 no. We're saying not working. Urgh. 
can't see. Damn it. And we're dead. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and stop here. That's all the time we have for today. As always, a like, a comment, and a share lets me know that you care. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode of Mages Play Skyrim.